All right, Brooke, what game are we playing today? Abandoned ship. Oh, boy. And do you like abandoned ship? Yeah. And why do you like it? Because it's just a race of rats to the top so they don't sink. You got sinking rats on a ship? And you're cheering for the rats? Yeah. Okay, well, cool. Well, there it is. There's the ship. How big a table do you need for this game? Oh, a really big table. Bigger than what we're doing this on? Yeah. All right. Well, cool. Well, how do you race your rats? Are you a certain color rat? Like, you have a token, and it, and the three colors that are on it mean the three colors of rats you're cheering for, and mine is black, purple, and red. Okay. So you're cheering for those rats? What does it mean to cheer for those rats? We want them to get up here, but not on the X. Okay, so those are the points, the rats score points, depending on how they finish? Mm-hmm. And the rats you're cheering for, you get their points. Yeah. Awesome. Could more than one person be cheering for the same color rat? Mm hmm But do they cheer for the same three rats? No. Okay. We'll give everybody their cheering colors. All right. So let's do a three-player game. And now everybody knows who they're cheering for. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how do you move the rats? Well, what you do is you move, you use the dice to move the rats. So I would roll. You roll all the dice? All the dice. Okay. And so I'm going to pick a red four. And so I would move the red up four. And it would go out. And then these would move on to the next player. Okay. Unless there's like an X on it. Then it stays in the pile. Okay. And still moves on to the next player. Okay, what are the other symbols on the dice? The other symbols is the circle means that you can move any of the rats. Oh, any color. Okay. And this means like if I wanted to move the green up to the red, it's the closest up so I would use this. But if I didn't use that and I wanted to pull one of the colors back, like if this was circled, like I use this one, it's circled, I would pull, if I wanted to pull it back, I would pull the red back to the closest behind. And what happens when you run out of dice? When you run out of dice, say it ends on me with one, and all of these are out. Then I wouldn't roll this, I would flip a token, and it's seven. And what does that mean? So I would come over here and sink the ship so it goes all the way down and covers up seven. Uh oh, so when you run out of rolling dice, that ship keeps sinking. Uh huh, and then you want to keep moving them up. So what happens? How does a rat sink? If, say, all of these were up further except for the yellow, and they were like there. Okay. And I got a three of this. I would move down eight, nine, and then three is ten. It would stop where it is, and the yellow mm -hmm. would have been dead because it was on ten. Oh. And then the yellow dice goes out with it. Oh, okay. And then all you have is those left. So it's a race to the top? It's a race to the top. And then everybody reveals who they're... Oh, cool. I never knew that reveals who they were rooting for okay. and we would add it the points. So my black and his black doesn't get any points. Okay. Um, I would add purple and purple got five so I would get five points and she would get or he would get five points. Well, that's a pretty tricky way to do it. So you gotta have a mix of strategy mm -hmm. and you don't want to reveal who you are so you gotta be careful which colors you choose to move or other people are gonna know what colors you're rooting for. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, what would you rate Abandoned Ship? I would rate it a 5. Yeah? And why? Because it's a really fun game, and it's just fun to play with other people. Can the whole family play this one? Yeah. And then the funny thing about this uh -huh. is the ship is sinking, and then it has N-V-R-S-N-K-S, -S, and it stands for Never Sinks, and it has no vowels. Hmm. So, and the ship is sinking, so it's funny. All right. Thanks, Brooke.